Uh, you have obviously a, a buy and a dip as well, more value over growth. Now, value has been underperforming. Are you going to stay the course there? Well, it depends where you look at it from, Charles. If you go back to last October, which I would argue is when we saw the great rotation, that's when the vaccine news came out, value has actually slightly outperformed growth for the record. Uh, but I do. I think the bottom line is, look, at some point here, valuation is going to matter. you got value right now trading at half the multiple of growth. It's so much cheaper. And if you look at growth rates next year, they're pretty much parity when you look at growth and value. And if you look at those more cyclical sectors like financials, energy, they're dramatically outperforming the market this year. I think that trend continues because I think the economy is going to keep getting better, keep running hotter, and you've got to own that cyclical trade. Uh, normally, we'd be talking about consumer spending for the rest of the year. You know, it's Christmas time, it's Hanukkah time, it's a New Year's. You know, here's the thing, Ryan. Uh, I'm not really seeing a lot of interest there, but I am seeing signs that maybe, maybe the consumers run out of money, like the excess savings are gone. Are you seeing that? <laughs> No. If you look at it statistically right now, consumers have $2.3 trillion more today than they did pre-pandemic, not to mention wages are going up. And if you look at savings accounts, they're double what they were pre-pandemic. I think people, shocking, but Americans have become more fiscally disciplined. And I argue with more savings there that can go for a lot longer, the economy is going to run hot for a lot longer as well. Uh, Ryan, you got five seconds to tell us the biggest risk. Yeah, I hope it's not the 70s, Luke, but I think, look, interest rates got to go higher here, guys. Inflation's at 6%. The 10-year's at 1.6%. That's a problem. Got to be very careful with those growth assets with high multiples and bond right. funds are going to get crushed. There you go.